Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Experiments X Host. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking, is there a way to get it to cache so that way you don't have to be connected to the internet each time? Well, I do have good news for you. He went ahead and created a cache version. So we're going to go ahead and check it out and see how well it works. So we'll jump over to settings. I will show you that I don't have the goal 10 options as well as I don't have debug settings. So we'll go up to our network and we'll go ahead and check connect to the internet if you don't already have it. And then we'll go ahead and back out. Now we'll go ahead and launch our browser and we'll just do the usual close that first window and delete all. Go into our browser history, clear that as well. And then we'll go into settings and delete cookies and clear our website data. Then we'll go ahead and back out. And we don't need to back all the way out, but if you do back all the way out, just close out that first initial window and then go into your bookmarks. And you can go ahead and select it if you already have it in your bookmarks. If not, you can go ahead and type it in the address bar. Once you do get on, just a reminder that it does use the D-pad and your your X button and as well as circle to go back. But uh, yeah, we'll press right on the D-pad a few times there. and We'll get over to the cache version and then we'll go ahead and select it. Now cache started. It does go pretty quick. Um, I'd have to say it's probably the quickest I've ever seen. As you can see it is complete now. So we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to our settings. Go to our network and go ahead and disconnect from the internet. Then we can go ahead and launch our browser again. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select Goal 10 2B2. Give it a few moments here to load. It should pop up any moment to insert our USB. Can take up to 30 seconds, but it's usually within 20. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and insert our USB. Give it a few moments here to pop up with unsupported file system. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Jailbreak done, we can go ahead and remove our USB and then hit OK. Goal 10 2.0 B2 loaded. We can go into our payload section. And we can go through the payloads here. There's lots of uh, payloads you can go ahead and load. Okay. Um, let's go into Orbis's toolbox. We'll go ahead and launch that. Okay, and it should load any moment now. There we go. Orbis's toolbox loaded. We can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button now. And as you can see, Orbis's toolbox does come up with no issues. Okay, so let's go over to our settings. We'll go into the Orbis's toolbox section here. And you can see that everything does come up. Uh, you can go into the settings as well. And all your settings are in there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on, show you that you can go ahead and add it to your cache if you're interested in just having a cool, different design uh, host that just uses the D-pad and uh, X and circle, I guess, uh, to go back and forward. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.